Have you ever wondered how far North Florida's pythons could spread? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Florida's slithery situation, Burmese pythons. These giant constrictors are wreaking havoc on the Sunshine State's ecosystem, but how far north could they actually spread? Buckle up because we're about to embark on a geographic investigation. It's the 1980s and for the first time, pythons are being spotted in the wilderness of Florida. Initially these sightings were met with intrigue rather than concern. After all, these exotic creatures with their winding bodies and mesmerizing patterns were a strange sight to behold in the Floridian landscape. Despite the fascination, there was an undercurrent of uncertainty. Little was known about these creatures or their potential impact on the local ecosystem. In fact, for a while, the general consensus was that these pythons would not survive let alone thrive in the new environment. But as we now know, this assumption was far from accurate. In the face of this lack of understanding and the initial dismissal of the potential threat, the pythons quietly began to establish their presence. So began the silent invasion of pythons in Florida. But how far could they really go? The python problem was not taken seriously until it was too late. As the 90s rolled in, Florida's python population was a mere blip on the radar. However, it wasn't long before this blip transformed into a full-blown explosion that caught everyone off guard. What allowed this explosion you might wonder? The absence of natural predators? Florida's ecosystem, rich and diverse as it is, simply had no answer to these slithering invaders from the east. In their native habitats, pythons have to contend with larger predators, but in the Florida landscape, they were suddenly at the top of the food chain. But that's not all. Pythons are master adapters. They found Florida's subtropical climate to be quite to their liking. The vast wetlands, the lush vegetation, the abundant prey, everything was just right for these cold-blooded reptiles to thrive and multiply. And multiply they did. From the 90s to the early 2000s, the python population in Florida skyrocketed. They spread across the state like wildfire, marking their territory in the Everglades and beyond. But what does this mean for Florida's local wildlife? Well, it's not good news. Pythons are voracious eaters. They've been known to prey on anything from small birds to alligators. As the python population grows, the populations of their prey shrink. This imbalance poses a serious threat to Florida's ecosystems, disrupting the natural order and pushing some species to the brink of local extinction. The ripple effects of this invasion are far-reaching. Pythons are not just gobbling up other animals, they're changing the very fabric of Florida's ecosystems. The habitats of many native species are being reshaped, the balance of predator and prey is being upset, and the overall biodiversity is taking a hit. In short, the python invasion is not just a problem, it's a crisis. A crisis that was largely ignored until it was too late. The python's unchecked growth quickly turned from a curiosity to a crisis. The question now is, what can be done to curb this growing threat? As the python population grew, so did their territory. Picture the scene. Florida, a state known for its sunny beaches and vibrant nightlife, is now becoming a playground for pythons. As these slithering squatters have multiplied, they've not been content to stay put. Instead, they've spread their coils, moving further and further north. Researchers and wildlife enthusiasts alike have been astounded by this northern spread. Reports are coming in from all across the state. Pythons, once confined to the southernmost swamps, are being found in suburban backyards and even city parks. There are even instances where pythons have been found as far north as the Florida-Georgia line. It's a reality that has scientists scratching their heads and residents on high alert. Data collected from wildlife agencies and universities suggest that this trend is not only continuing but accelerating. The pythons have shown an alarming adaptability to different environments. From the humid Everglades to the cooler climates of northern Florida, these invasive reptiles are proving they can thrive just about anywhere. But what does this mean for Florida and potentially other states? The impacts could be significant and far-reaching. The rise of the python population has already had a devastating effect on local wildlife. These large snakes are top predators, consuming everything from small mammals to alligators. If they continue this northern march, they could disrupt ecosystems on a much larger scale. And it's not just about the wildlife, there's also the human factor to consider. Pythons pose a risk to pets and could potentially become a danger to humans, especially small children. So, the situation is clear, the pythons are spreading and they're not stopping anytime soon. The potential impacts are alarming, both for the environment and the residents of Florida 
and beyond. It's a situation that demands attention, understanding, and most importantly, action. The question is not if the pythons will continue to spread, but when and how far. The python problem in Florida is now a full-blown crisis. In the blink of an eye the Sunshine State has transformed into a haven for the invasive species. The ripple effects are far-reaching and disturbingly profound. Our local wildlife once thriving and diverse is now under siege. Native species from the petite marsh rabbit to the majestic white-tailed deer are falling prey to the python's insatiable appetite. Efforts to curb this invasion are in full swing yet the fight is far from over. From professional hunters to ordinary citizens Floridians are rallying to reclaim their ecosystem, yet the python's resilience and adaptability make it a formidable foe. The reality is, traditional methods of control are falling short. Amidst this bleak landscape however, glimmers of hope are emerging. Scientists, conservationists and policymakers are joining forces exploring innovative solutions to this ecological nightmare. Research is underway to understand the python's biology and behavior better to exploit their weaknesses. Conservationists are tirelessly working on restoring the habitats destroyed by these serpents. Moreover, an unprecedented wave of awareness is sweeping across the state. People are becoming more informed, more involved. They are learning to coexist responsibly with these creatures and importantly, prevent their further spread. This is a race against time, a battle for survival. It's a struggle that Florida must and will win. Despite the dire situation hope remains in the form of research, conservation and increased awareness. The future of Florida's ecosystems hangs in the balance but, there are solutions on the horizon. As we look ahead it's clear that the answers lie within a multi-pronged approach. First, we need to deepen our understanding of python behavior. Scientists are working tirelessly, studying these creatures to learn more about their patterns of movement, breeding habits and adaptability to different environments. This information is crucial in developing strategies to contain and control their spread. Next, there's a pressing need for public education. It's important that Floridians understand the risks associated with these invasive species and the part they can play in mitigating them. This could involve recognizing and reporting sightings or learning how to handle and even remove pythons safely. Funding is another key piece of the puzzle. Conservation efforts require resources, from manpower to equipment, and yes, financial backing. Increased funding can fuel more comprehensive research, improve public education programs, and bolster the efforts of those on the front lines of this ecological battle. And finally, we mustn't forget the importance of individual actions and community involvement. Every effort counts, whether it's participating in python removal competitions or advocating for stronger environmental policies. The python problem in Florida is a stark reminder of the impact of invasive species. The path to a solution is complicated and uncertain, but with awareness, research and action, there is hope. So, while Florida's pythons might not be slithering into Canada anytime soon, their ability to establish themselves in some southern states is a real concern. Thanks for joining the exploration. Let us know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the python problem? And remember, responsible pet ownership is key to preventing future invasive species issues. We'll see you on the next adventure.